What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's going on? Game O Thrones. We're back, baby. It's been a long time. Year my and a half. It's been way too long for Game of Thrones, but hey. Yeah, man. We're back, and hopefully you're watching this video because we're making it. So you might as well just watch it. All right. <laughs> So let's not beat around the bushes. New mm. opening. We got a new. We got a new intro. Yeah, inside the building, it's kind of like a fly through instead of always over the top view. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they you know, it, they're, it's showing us like, hey, we're gonna stay contained right now. We're not gonna go over here. We're not gonna go over there. We're gonna stay contained and we're gonna be in these yeah. areas, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. I always love. I love that intro. It's one of the most yeah. unique, coolest animated intros, you know, it, ever it created on this planet. It's good shit. <laughs> Yeah, um, definitely, definitely. So speaking of that, uh, we got a throwback to... Yeah, a little homage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to the pilot uh, with the opening of um, of the episode, of course, with John and, and Daenerys and the army of the Dothraki and the Unsullied coming in with that little boy, you yeah. know, running and trying to get um, and trying to get a better view of, of them coming in. Um, it was Bran. I mean, I remember Arya, too, was, was, was trying to get a good look at the king when... Uh, in the pilot, but yeah, it was it's a cool yeah. homage, um, and they used uh, the same music. Okay. That uh, King Robert they played for him when right. he was coming in, so it was a uh, very cool. It's it's um, it's been a long time since we've seen that. Obviously, it's <laughs> but uh, hey, you know they never disappoint with this show. So uh, let's get into the reunions. You know yeah, how I am with that. This was a lot of reunions. We had a lot of a yeah. lot of fun. Reunions. I I enjoyed, and we also had a lot of meetings. You know, yeah. and then not a lot of meetings, but we had meetings, we had reunions. Yeah. What was your favorite reunion? You know what? I always I was anticipating the Aria John one, mm -hmm. which um, I mean, obviously I enjoyed, but I think the one that stood out for me the most um, was the final scene of the episode, and, and with with Jamie riding in and and not uh, much of a of a reunion per se. Well, it was. I mean, it was. It's the beginning of one, and I'm sure it'll be. In, we'll see more of that. A brand waiting there for for Jamie to uh, hop off the horse and mm -hmm. and finally see the guy that he pushed out the window, the the, the young boy that he pushed out the window. But now he knew, so he knew he was alive, though. Uh, I I believe he knew. Yeah, I believe he knew. Um, that's a good question, actually. Um, because don't forget, you have uh, Tyrion made him a saddle, and yes, since then, that's true. That's true. Tyrion that's... has spoken to his his sister yeah. and his brother. So I, you know, and I don't, I don't, I can't recall if he's, if we've heard him say it, but if he hasn't, then I'm sure he's still. I'm assuming he did. I mean, obviously yeah. within this episode, I think he did. Like, even that season. Oh, yeah. he lived though. They probably, if you go back to season one, they probably was like, oh, the boy lived, you know? Well, they did. That's why they sent the assassin after him in the right. first place. But so, well, obviously, yeah. 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 So, oh that yeah, was, doy. That was, yeah, of course. And that's how, that that's was, how Arya got that knife. Yeah, cat's paw. But that's all um, right, all right. Yeah, that was probably the one that really stuck out for uh, me, only because of the expression on Jamie's face. He just did a f f fantastic job, along with the whole cast. I mean, this show never disappoints when it comes to the acting and right. and the people that are working on the show. So, what about uh, what about you? Uh, my favorite was Arya and John. Yeah, that little go back and forth real quick, and then they hug and. He's like, oh, you still, oh, you still got it. She's like, yep, needle, and she holds it out. And he's like, have you, you know, did you have to use it? And you know, tongue in cheek, we're all like, ah, uh, yeah, she's used yeah. the thing once or twice. She says, and yeah. then he pulls out, he pulls out his his blade, yeah, long claw, long claw. Yeah. I could never remember the name of it. And he and she's holding. He's like, yeah, it's she's like, a little too big for me. I I enjoy that that they were that they were. Coming it's together. like two warriors, yeah. Yeah, coming together, and then like, but yeah. they, it's something that they shared, and I, and I liked it a lot, and um, yeah, I real, I love Laria, I love Arya. I, uh, mm -hmm. I was, I was happy to see all that happen, and like in the beginning when in the procession, like she was just standing there, she lets the little kid go in. Um, Daenerys meeting Sansa, Sansa, not to be confused with Sanzo from Into the Badlands. <laughs> Close. They. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't trust her at all. I mean, she has every right to feel that way, obviously. You know, Sansa has been through a lot of, in, in her journey throughout this uh, series to, you know, and getting to the point where, where she was. I think she still has a bit of, um, I mean, she's upset with John. 
Well, that was a good giving... reunion. Let's talk about that for a minute. That was a good reunion. I enjoyed when they had that argument in the room. Well, that's yeah. Bringing up the argument is actually very interesting because we got a lot out of that. Uh, when it comes to how you said, um, you can see the animosity between Daenerys and 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 Sansa. I think after John um, and Sansa talking, I think we're not really going to see any more real animosity. I think we can kind of maybe see um, not necessarily a friendship building, but like a respect building. Because John was like, listen, like, do you trust my judgment? Pretty much. He like laid himself out there and yeah. she and they made the joke. You know, she you know, John says she's not her father, and Sans is like, Oh, she's much prettier, kind of thing. And they kind of had this smirk and this kind of like a bit of a chuckle. So I think that was short lived. I don't think we're gonna see much of that uh, conflict between the two. And um I really one one reunion we didn't see was Arya and Danny yet. And you know how Arya was always fascinated with um, um, the dragons and the Targaryen lineage, and she knew of you know conquered conquering Targaryens and all this kind of stuff. So I'm kind of interested in seeing how that's um, that's going to play out. Yeah, I was, uh, uh, you know, Sansa. The other another cool reunion would be Sansa and Tyrion, which is really cool. Yeah. Sansa is yeah. a character that I've grown to to really like. I did not like. I think most everybody didn't like her, and. You know, she's had one of the most, you know, significant transformations in the show. I mean, they all, they all, even, even Arya, I mean, they all really have had these significant In their own ways. They, exactly. But Arya exactly. meeting Tyrion again was coming back and he's like, you know, my lady and your lady of, of Winterfell. And she's like, you know, at the end, you know, she's like, y y you really think your sister's going to like live up to, like she knew right away. And she's like, yeah. I thought you were this, you know, I once thought of you as the smartest man in the world and just walks away. And he's like, yeah. Damn, I guess I am an idiot. You know, like yeah. he still that just has to show you Tyrion still believes like he still has hope. He holds out hope that his sister just won't be the monster. And and yeah. and and for like a family, Um, you know, don't forget in the previous episode, the, the finale of last season, you know, when they speak, you know, he was just like, I'm so I'm so sorry that all this happened to you and my nieces and nephew. You know, like, I'm just so sorry. And this is, that was not my intention. He's like, but I had to do what I had to do. Like, this man yeah. tried to kill me. And this bitch was just like, nope. You know? Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah. So, those, I, 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 I'm, I'm, what else you got? Because I'm trying to think of, of. I mean, well, a quick, a quick, um, a quick between, a quick uh, little uh, reunion with, um, well, actually, Two in one was the Arya Gendry and the Arya. Oh um, yeah, Hound. Gendry, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arya and the Hound. Yeah, those are really cute little ones. Yeah, those are. Yeah, those are you good. can see. I mean, Arya obviously. There's a lot gives... of respect going around. That's that's oh, what I like. I, mean, I enjoyed that. There's a lot of respect bouncing around. You know, and it's... the Hound and the Hound in his own Hound way um, was definitely respectful to Arya. He called her a little bitch and stuff like that, which is something that he had said before to her and called her before, but he's like, you're tough. You know, he knows she's yeah. a tough chick. He's like, that's why you're alive, you know, and he walked away. So that's like the hound will never hug you or, you know, give you a high five or anything like that. So that's right, his way right, of right. doing that, I think. Right. Um, but the Gandry stuff with Arya handing him like a, like a plan for this new weapon, like a spear of some sort or whatever it is, uh, was was interesting and and Gendry calling her you know the lore whatever whatever he he used like a high term for her. He's, he's like, like he's like yeah rich he called the rich or something yeah. yeah um and he's like no my lady and that's what he's he he you know he called her yeah. um and when they were together in the past so let's see if a little romance kind of thing it was very like flirty nice. a bit toward the end yeah that uh, maybe she will end up um like Ned she looks and listen she's got she's got to she, get it in once before she dies. All right. Well, oh, so you think she's gonna die? No, we'll get to that at the end of this episode. I, I have questions for you. So here's the thing. Yeah. Another another part that I really really enjoyed was when they were at the meeting hall and everyone was calling John out on his, you know, on him leaving and stuff, and he's just like, everybody, shut up. All right. He's like, yeah. I didn't want to be king. You all made me king. I took it. He goes, but my only concern is not your house. It's it's the north. He's like, yeah. so I said I'd go. I did, he's like, I did what I said I was going to do. I was going to go and get us allies, and I did that. I brought yeah. back two armies. He's like, so shut the hell up. 
Yeah. And they're all John... like, they're all like, um, all right. <laughs> you all know? right. I guess he has a point there. But right? you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I really enjoyed that. He's just like, I freaking died, assholes. Like, I died yeah. trying to like get you, you know, well, John, help. John's John's totally not about titles. He's, he says that to Sansa. Um, even even when we saw Bran talking to them when they first arrived, he's like, "We don't. We have enough of this. Let's just get to the get to the business." So yeah, John John um, John just worries about the North. He's worrying about his people, uh, even though we got the information we did so quick, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, John is John will always be a stock first, I think. Uh, but. I mean, we did see a little bit of his Targaryen roots on their little fly. Okay, uh, so yeah, so man, there's a little bit of the unpack here. So obviously, he can ride the dragon because he's Targaryen. Relatively, uh, right. relatively easy, and and uh, he learned how to steer fairly quick. Um, it's in his blood, man. And and yeah. I'll tell you what. So you and I had a conversation about this after you know um, a, a day or so ago. But you know him that you know. When uh, what's her dragon's name again? Uh, Drogon. Drogon. I could. I'm always just thinking Dragon. It's like no. Yeah. So he's he looks at him now. I th- I took that look to be like. That's my mama. That one like part of it was that's my mama. Don't don't hurt my mama. But also, I they see know. you. Like I see you. I see who you are. I know who you are. Like he know they can sniff it. They yeah. can sniff out that lineage. Yeah, and I th- and he was almost smiling. Maybe. Like I don't know. Great shot though. Great shot of the yeah. dragon's face. They they made them. Um, it seems like they really added some color to them, especially with Rhaegal, because he, he was... we we never really seen him as green. I feel. I don't think even yeah. the even the red and stuff that's in Drogon's face. I think they kind of enhanced that a bit, which. Yeah. I mean, they, who the hell just, remembers? Who's going to go back and compare that shit besides people on YouTube? Yeah, it's just something that I that I kind of noticed. So I'm assuming my eyes are correct. But I, I agree. I agree. But yeah. that was really cool. And let, let's talk about let's talk about John's lineage. You know, Bran says, yeah. listen, you have to tell him because he trusts you. He won't hear it from Bran, me. And Bran's popping up everywhere, right? Yeah. Um, and, everywhere uh, he needs to be. Yeah. There's a there's a funny meme going around. Did you see the, the thing I said? Yeah. It's like, yeah. how many wheelchair ramps are there in, in Winterfell? <laughs> Brand's yeah. everywhere. Yeah, so, Brand is everywhere. So he tells Sam, listen, this has got to be done now, right now, because just yeah. do it. So he tells him. And, uh, you know, real quick, speaking of Sam, Sam gets the new, news that his parents are dead. So a mm-hmm. lot, all right. So a lot, to, a lot happened in this short amount of time. Yeah. He meets the queen. She says, I killed your brother and father with nothing. There's nothing on her face. She's just like, I did it. What do you, you know, that's it. And he, and, and Sam's just like, holy shit, this, this is, a I think, I mean, she has compassion. She has compassion. No, I didn't think so, man. Oh, I don't know. I think she has compassion. I just think that. I don't think she showed it in that scene. Do you? I mean, I think she, yeah, I do. I think there's, there's some sympathy for him. She obviously, dude, she's not. She's not evil. She sees the guy crying and yeah, but you know, but that's the thing. She, she didn't even she, say anything. It's, she it's, just... it's justified. It, she feels justified in what she had to do, but I do think she feels sorry for for the poor guy. Nah, I don't think. I don't I, think. And and then that leads into she's my not, theory. She's not stone cold like that. That I leads into think. my see. I, I I disagree, and I think that leads into my theory, which I'll get to at the end. But yeah, so so that happens. So he tells John, and and now John, you know. Uh, you know, some people were, were like, well, how come there wasn't a bigger reaction from John? And if you watch the, you know, the little behind the scenes thing afterwards, the producers were like, yeah, you know, we chose, to... yeah, we yeah. chose to have that play on John's face. And I don't think we're done with seeing his reaction, you know? No, I mean, from some of the, of the teasers for next week, it looks like Danny's down in the crypts along with John. So maybe he'll tell her right away. I think that that's what that's just like what going back, just the actors and the expressions that they put on their face. Jamie's expression when he sees Brent said it all. He didn't have to say a word. Mm-hmm. Daenerys telling Sam and finding out the information, she didn't have to tell a word. John, the same thing with him. You can portray so much as a great actor without even saying one word. It's it's a eye blink. It's a it's a cheek quiver or a mouth quiver. You know what I mean? That's what makes these actors um, so great because they can they can say a thousand words without even opening up their yeah. mouth. So John, I mean, uh, uh, did you like going, that reaction from him, or did you want more? I did. No, I did. I thought it was perfect. Honestly, um, it was so great too. Saying how the most honorable man. Uh, that I've ever known was lying to me the whole time. And, mm-hmm. and Sam, mm-hmm. 
comes back quickly by saying, listen, dude, he, he is the most honorable you. man. He protected you because Robert you would have had you killed. How hard of a secret would that have to, to look at, look at, th think of this. The man was so honorable in keeping the, his sister's secret. He didn't even that, tell Kate. That he didn't even tell his wife, mm -hmm. who his wife lived with this secret uh, without without knowing John's parentage for her. So, so Kate Gatlin thinks that her husband cheated and had this affair. And Ned was Ned loved his sister so much that he was able to keep that. He kept that from her. Yeah. So he, he ruined his rep. To, you know, to other people. And I remember uh, it was probably early in season three or something like that. I remember um, um, Stannis even talking. The most honorable man, you know, in the in the kingdom had you know, had an affair. You know, so I remember. So everybody knew of of the, of the, the, Ned, the, the so-called. The right. And he part. let that he he let it happen. He let it happen because he knew he knew what would happen. Yeah, he knew exactly what would happen. And I think um, in the end. I mean, he made the he made the right call. Well, so so, uh, but you know, but at this point, but listen, I got, I wanna, I wanna give you some of my theories towards the rest of the season. But yeah. real quick, let's just let's just mention the fact that Yara is saved by her brother. Yeah, you know, yeah. he he does he he held, he holds up his end of the bargain of well, not bargain, but like he said, he was gonna go save his sister. He grew a proverbial pair of balls. He went and did it. She headbutts him, which I thought was great because that was like you left me, you asshole. Yeah, you jumped off the side of the ship. Okay, the and, now and now let's go. And now let's go. Yeah, know, so. and it's cool. And it's cool that that uh, Theon is going to be fighting for the for for John and stuff because I mean, John had said, "Dude, you're you're not only a great joy, you're Stark." So I think ever since that meeting, um, he gets to, he puts he, something. There's yeah. a confidence builder inside. He gets to be like, "I am. I'm going to be both." Here's the interesting thing. I thought I thought it was really interesting when Yara's like, "Listen, let's go back home. There's nobody there. We could take it back." And yeah. and. You know, it'll be a place for the queen to go back to because the dead can't get there. Yeah. Which, you know, which is which is an interesting thing. But at the same time, it's like the dead can get there. They well, they can <laughs> first of all and second, with a dragon. Yeah, yeah, and and second of all, like I, I would have liked her to. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen yet. She says you can go fight for the Starks. Go ahead. I know you want to go, so go. So I don't yeah. know if she's going to show up there or not. But you know, I I just thought that was an interesting thing. Uh, yeah. and I, you know, I like the, I do like those characters and then, and, and now we have the golden company. Now the golden yeah. company's there. So that's yeah. an interesting type of thing, you know? Yeah. So, um, we'll, oh, uh, and, oh, and, and, and you're on and, and, Earth, on and you know, yeah. they, they banged it out, which is very interesting. Cause I didn't yeah, think well. that she was going to do that, but I don't know. I don't think so either. So let's see, does she think that um, he's a loose screw and that's why she kind of let it happen? Yeah. Uh, I mean, she said a couple of times during their interaction that I, you know, you're a, I've killed men for less, for less and I kind of like probably, that. Yeah. So this, he's the most confident guy. I kinda I'm like, going to so, put a prince in your belly. Yeah. All right, asshole. Little do you yeah. know. Well, yeah. he's such a dick. I, I like the character a lot, though, but he's such a piece of crap. But is. that's the best part. You know, he just yeah. knows. Again, yeah. you have these characters that know who they are and they play them well. Yeah. All right, Mikey, look, let's let's uh, let's re let's finish this out. Um, here's my question. Well, I'm going to it's yeah. a question in, in my theory. I'm going to give you my theory. And in, in that is going to be the question. OK, how do you think this is going to play out now? I've been giving it some thought. This is what I want. This is what I think. OK. All right. Because a lot of people are like, oh, who's going to you see things on Twitter and Instagram? Who's going to take the throne? Who's going to take the throne? And I, was, and I was like, you're talking you're talking the entire end game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From now, let's what's... let's make a prediction from oh, now. That's a tough prediction. Here's here's mine. Yeah. It's what I want. And it's also my prediction. John's okay. taking the throne. OK. OK. All right. I, w I literally want everybody else to die. I think Danny is going to turn. I, I, I think you're wrong in that you think that she's not co stone cold. She absolutely is. I think she doesn't give a shit. She doesn't care for John. I don't think she... I, she does not care. She doesn't want to share the power. She did not come this far to share power. She's going to try and do something. John's going to have to kill her. I think... I think everybody... I don't... I'm not going to say I think everybody's going to die. I think a lot of people are going to die. So this is how I think it'll work out. Or it should or whatever. John has to kill Cersei. It has to end. That has to end because they're not going to continue this story because it's stupid. We know what I really want, Mikey. I want the mm. knight. I want the knight to win. All right. I want the. I want the bad guys to win. I want the. I want the Night King to win. And I'll tell you why. Because 
I think that's something different. Okay. Um, I think that if you let them, if you let them win, that opens you up to um, a new series down the road where you have now the next series can be like five, 10, 15, 20 years later when there's a resistance fighting the yeah. night. Okay. There's your new series. All right. Or at the end or, okay. Or John wins. He becomes King. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it, but that makes him the most noble. Do you understand? That makes him the most, like, I mean, besides the fact that he is already the King, regardless at this point, um, mm -hmm. technically he's the king, but it's also makes him the most worthy. The fact that he doesn't want it, it'll probably also make him the best king that they could possibly have because yeah. Danny's doing it for reasons that are not, she just feels entitled and that's not right to me. Um, I like her, but that's not right. I, it could also end in that. Yes. He gets the, all right, fine. I don't want it to be a fucking happy ending. I just don't want it to be some cheesy, happy, the good guys win and he's the king and, I want it to be done and I want it, but then, I, you know, go a little forward. Let's see him as an older king and a new threat rise up. Like, you got to give us something. I know mm. they're doing the prequel or whatever and, and, and whatever's happening. But anyway, what do you, what do you think? I mean, listen, I don't want to go so bold to, to theorize for the rest of the season. I mean, to branch nah, off some man, of the Nah, man, do stuff, it. Go bold. Go. No, nah, I it. don't because I don't really have a real thought out for that. Okay. Um, all right. What I what I want to say though is I don't see how you said um, you'd like to see the Night King win, but John would have the throne. I don't see how that would work. No, 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 I no, no, no. It's either or. What I'm saying is if you don't have no, the Night well, King well, win, I don't. You had said then you, let you John win. John, I don't think it's going to be. Listen, I think in some way, shape, or form, the Night King is going to get defeated. Is he going to get destroyed or not? I'm not sure. Um, it, will there be some kind of pact? I don't know. We don't know exactly why the night king is coming at this particular moment in the first place so let's see what plays out with that Well, also here's my other thought too because not to cut you off but it is winter now winter is here and they're known for having 12 year long winters so it could be not for nothing it could it could end up being the winter hell they might even do a time jump you don't know you don't know what's gonna happen at the end well, of the season they could in well, third episode that's why, that's third why or fourth episode you know what i'm saying they could they could completely do it the winter's here the last two episodes could, could be them finally defeating the night king like you know what i'm saying but all i know is cersei has to die because it's it's got to be done oh you I mean, can't I think... go back to, to seven kingdoms fighting each other no it's stupid and boring you just did it for seven eight seasons you can't do it anymore you know what I mean? It's well, dumb. You got to you got to do something different. In the end, my idea kind of is that I think the good guys will win. I think that with the good guys winning, there we're going to have a lot of good people being being killed off. Oh yeah, probably. Um could I see um, I'm not going to go as far as what you're saying about Daenerys at all. I do think that listen look, look at look at the journey she was on, sl you know, saving uh, releasing slaves and this and that. Yeah, she does have an her, asshole though. Uh, but she does have her agenda. Okay, she does right. have her agenda that she does want to rule. That's been her number one um, plan. So I uh, let's see who does get in, in, in front of her now. Let's see how soon she finds out the information of who John is mm -hmm. because let's, let, let's just start there and see what happens uh, from her reaction of that, you know, she isn't the one that's um, the heir to the throne that, that John technically is. Yeah. The end game, I can definitely see... Um, Maybe not necessarily one king ruling everything in in King's Landing. I can possibly see um, the North has their own people; they govern it however they want. The South, the East, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't I think it's going to go that way anymore. I think they're going to change it. And yeah, there, there's a possibility that Daenerys and John will. I'm sorry, his name isn't John. It's it's uh, Aegon. Aegon. So I can see how Aegon and Daenerys might rule together. But I don't think she wants to give that up. I don't think she'd want to let the man well, that's, be that's the, the king and she'll be his queen to his king. That's like, I the don't biggest, think. That's the biggest question out of, mm. that we've got out of this episode one. Um, there was the quote there, you gave up your crown. Sam says to John, will she do the same? She do so the that's, same. And that's the biggest that question, is a good question yeah. that we're, we have out of that. But I think, All we, right. well, I think we kind of killed that. Um, let's see as as the, uh, the series 
goes on. We got five more episodes. Let's see, and maybe we can theorize and get a little bit better. Oh talk. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I wanted to, to throw that out there. I just wanted to yeah, throw my hat I mean, in the I don't ring like and say that. I just think that there's so many variables right now. We just have so many things. Uh, this was obviously a reunion episode. This was John's parentage episode. I think next episode will be um, the preparation, and 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 I think it's going to end with that one clip that we saw from the trailer of the of the hoofs of that. Um, of the horse of the dead horse arriving and you see Winterfell at night. Well, they're dead. You know, we didn't kind of end. We didn't mention too, that they they're down there. Now the, uh, the umbers, they, they killed the umber kid, which was, which was sick. They're yeah. look, they're psycho. They're freaking psycho, man. They put the yeah. arm. That's some dude. That's some silent Hill resident evil bullshit. Yeah. That's, that was yeah. some pretty sick shit. You know, so, I, just, I just wanted to mention that we forgot yeah. to mention that, but that was yeah, cool. No, it's, it's definitely, it was definitely a very creepy. All right, scene. cool. Listen, so, this has I, gone on long enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. y- y- all right. So you let us know what you guys think. All right. Obviously, we're very passionate about this and we enjoy this. So we're definitely looking forward to it. Mikey, where yeah. can they get us? Of course, you guys can check us out at Third Person on all the social medias. You can check us out at uh, thirdpersonpod.com and all the, the, the Google search. Um, write in your comment uh, in the comment section below. Let us know what you guys think about episode one. What do you think about the reunions? Uh, were you excited about uh, John learning his parentage right away? Because uh, that, obviously, for me and Chris, I don't think uh, we expected it to be so soon, but nope. we're excited that it I'm did. I'm glad that it was, yeah. Uh, you know, let us know your your endgame theories uh, in the comments also. We'd like to hear what you guys are all thinking. All right, that's going to do it. And uh, don't forget, we uh, we have a bunch of stuff for Badlands videos that's going to be there and there. There we go. Something like that. Yeah, you'll figure it Something, out. You'll see the videos. Yeah, yeah. No, it's on the other side of you. It's below you, actually. Uh, yeah, so go watch those things. Thanks, guys. We'll see you for the next video for Game of Thrones. Peace. Uh,